Sean Marsh heroics in vain as England beat Australia again. Five talking points from Cardiff. Sean Marsh's fantastic century proved futile as England defeated Australia and Cardiff to go 2-0 up in this five-match OTA series. Jason Roy scored a ton and stand-in captain Joseph Butler hit 91 not out as England, who won the first OTA on Wednesday, finished on 342-8. Marsh smashed 131 off just 116 balls but his heroics were not enough to see Australia home and the tourists fell 38 runs short of the target. England can wrap up a series victory when these two sides meet again in Nottingham on Tuesday. Stuart Broad buries the hatchet with former England captain Michael Von Moeen and Morgan punish Australia, four talking points as England win series opener Darren Lehman responds to England fans taunting Australia over ball tampering Marsh has spent a number of seasons at Glamorgan as an overseas player and looked at home at Sophia Gardens as he scored his first hoed a century in five years. The 34-year-old was one of Australia's unsung heroes of their Ashes triumph last winter and earned a recall to the one-day team because of Steve Smith and David Warner's enforced absence. He has grabbed the opportunity with both hands and made England sweat with a fine ton. It may not have been as exciting as Roy or Butler's innings, but it was just as effective. For Australia to chase England's 342. They needed players to bat around Marsh but only Glenn Maxwell, 31, and Ashton Ager, 46, provided meaningful support and later wickets from Liam Plunkett and Adil Rashid secured the victory. In the absence of Smith and Warner, both missing the series due to their 12-month bans for ball tampering, Aaron Finch is Australia's most experienced and arguably best batsman. The 31-year-old average is close to 40 in Otis and has scored 10 centuries in the format. The rest of Australia's top five have just five between them. It seems odd, then, that the tourists would opt to move him from his favoured position at the top of the order. The justification was that Australia wanted more experience in their middle order and they need to get the most from Finch and he can be destructive in the opening power play. The tactic certainly didn't pay off in Cardiff and he was out for a duck as Australia's chase began to unravel. Almost exactly a year to the day since Roy was dropped for the Champions Trophy semi-final against Pakistan in Cardiff, the Surrey star once again proved how destructive and effective he can be as an England opener. Dropping out of the side may have been a blessing in disguise for Roy, who worked hard on his game upon his return to the Oval and has taken his game to another level since. The 27-year-old scored 180 against Australia in January, England's highest ever individual score in a one-day international, and made the old enemy toil today with an assured and classy century. He played second fiddle to Johnny Bairstow, 42 off 24, up front but was the dominant force in productive partnerships with Alex Hales and Joe Root as the host set the foundations for a formidable score. It took a quite superb catch from Tim Payne the Australian skipper, to dismiss Roy. Andrew Tai, the leading wicket-taker from the recent Indian Premier League, angled a ball back into the set batsman and found his inside edge. The ball appeared destined for the boundary but Payne dived to his left and completed a stunning one-handed catch. It was a fantastic piece of wicket-keeping made even more impressive given the circumstances. Just moments earlier. A slower ball from Ty that deceived Roy bounced just in front of Payne and kicked up straight into his face. Australia's bloodied captain received medical assistance and decided to stay on. Less than two overs later he produced of his finest efforts with the gloves. It is indicative of Butler's brilliance that he can score 91 off 70 balls and yet you feel he left something in the tank. England were eyeing a score of around 360 at one stage of their innings but the lower order batsmen struggled to score quickly against an Australian attack utilising their variations skillfully. Butler ensured the innings did not derail, however, as he scooped and punched his way to a 16th out of half century. He scored back-to-back fifties -back in the Test Series against Pakistan last month, following an excellent IPL campaign and will score plenty more runs across the formats this summer. Opinion ball tampering bans and injury blows, do Australia stand a chance against England?
Chitishwar Pujara reveals how India planned to stop England star Joseph Butler Sachin Tendulkar sends passionate message to the ICC after Scotland stun England more. Stuart Broad buries the hatchet with former England captain Michael Vaughan.